Hello everyone. So I thought I would come and show you guys um, some of sort of the household um, products that are sort of health, sort of, not, I wouldn't say, hmm, but yeah, they're vegan friendly, definitely. So yeah, here it is. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys, let me move closer, is um, this deodorant. It's a natural crystal, it's incognito natural crystal deodorant 100 natural no aluminium salts fresh citrus fragrance and it's non-sticky it's it's very this i like this deodorant because i noticed that when i put it on i don't need any more literally a little goes a long way and i've had this for quite a while to be honest with you um i'm sure you guys know that using deodorant is not 100 percent good as in like all these commercialized deodorants like when I say I mean like stuff like you know the roll-ons and the sprays um they're not really good for you and this one is vegan it's got the vegan logo on it um sorry that my camera is not focusing properly I'm still getting a I don't know how to use this camera properly I'm still trying to get used to it so yeah but I'll leave, leave all the link of all the things that I'm talking about and where I got it from in the description below so there's that and then I wanted to talk about this. This is 100% um, gluten-free, wheat-free, it's um, nut-free and it's egg-free. They are wraps. These, they, I just had them for dinner not too long ago and they taste just like a normal wrap. It's very, very nice. Um, it is quite, I know it's, it was quite, you know, like a normal wrap is probably what, 99p or... A pound these were two pound eighty but it's definitely worth the money um i really really like it and yeah so that's the second stuff and because i really i'm craving um i want some hot chocolate so what i decided to do i've got some um these is rice rice milk it's um 100 organic i'm so sorry that this is not focusing 100 organic um rice milk so i'm going to make um sort of a hot chocolate using dates and um this um i'm looking for i'm going to test out the recipe and see if it actually works so yeah i picked up these i've also got you know my you know my dates everyone knows about these dates yeah so yeah this is these are dates there they are um i like these dates they're very caramelly and fudgy and yeah it just very very nice yeah i've got dates here um i picked up um this is apple cider vinegar um because i've got a lot of bananas in the kitchen at the moment and i've been getting these little um fruit flies so i picked this up to try and sort of catch them and get them to sort of go in the cup so i can put them outside afterwards um i also use this to clean um the house i use it for my hair as well um, I used apple cider vinegar for a lot of things. It is quite a versatile thing to have in the house. And I also picked, oh, this I was very excited about. Um, this is urban fruit and it's just gently baked banana. The thing about dried fruits is that sometimes they have other stuff in them like sodium phosphate or some, like it just always has something other than the actual fruit. But with this, um, company all that is in there is just bananas and it's vegan friendly it's gluten free literally there's nothing else in there apart from bananas i wish i could zoom in on the back but like i said i really don't know i don't know if you guys can see that i'm so sorry that it's not in focus but there's nothing else in there so i'm really excited to try these um yeah i, I had the mango one after um four o'clock so i was like i was doing the raw till four so i had the mango on it was very nice and you can sort you can taste the natural flavorness of it you can tell that there's i know when i've tried other ones it just didn't it was a bit artificial but with the mango one it was very very nice so i'm excited to try these um as well and i've got my coconut sugar here so i picked up coconut sugar um yeah you know this this goes with everything really guilt-free sugar very happy about this as well and i would like to make um some banana sort of like a banana bread slash banana something bananary and i wanted and i've heard a lot about this 
is it Arg Argave or Argav? I don't know if I'm saying it right. Um, nectar, and I'm looking forward to um trying this because prior to this last star, I used to use um maple syrup, and I know it's not good for you, so I'm looking forward to trying this out. Um, it wasn't too expensive actually, so yeah, I've got that there, and finally, I've got it was on buy one get one half price on this so I've got my coconut oil here I don't know if you guys can see that yeah I've got coconut oil so yeah this is also another versatile thing to have in the house I use it to cook sometimes not too much but I mostly use it this is what I use for my body I use it for my hair I use it for my children so I use it for a lot of things um, what else and this is actually a natural I don't know if you guys knew this but it's a natural sun protection I know we don't have the, the you know we've entered um autumn now but it's actually a natural like instead of using sunscreen it's actually a natural um sun protection thingy this um oil so I was very excited when I found out about that so I wanted to say to you guys um I've I don't use any sort of I don't use anything for my face I just use water that is all I use and then once I'm, once every sort of three weeks I would get this coconut oil and just do like a hot mask just put the coconut oil on get like a, um, a warm not hot warm flannel and just place it over my face and just because I wanted to see what my I wanted my face to do its own thing so that's what I've been doing for a long time now um, so thank you very much for watching guys um, Yes, yeah, so let me know what you guys want to see and yeah, thank you for watching.